So joining us this week straight from the training ground after last night's victory is Junior Hoyle. Thanks for coming in, Junior. Thanks for having me. So I think we'll start by talking about last night's victory, 3-0 over your former club, QPR. It was lovely. Great win. Great win. We needed that. Uh, team played well. Uh, great performance at home and uh, bring us momentum into this weekend's game. Was it the best performance of the season so far? Yeah, result-wise, of course. We're in 3 0 clean sheet and uh, some great goals. Uh, we've been working at all week, and if we could bring it into this weekend, it'll be a fantastic week to get us up, moving up the table. Now off to the Hawthorns on Saturday. How can you build upon that again to get that first away win of the season on Saturday? Uh, it'll be a tough game against a, a great side, so I think if we could uh, resemble what we did last night and uh, be compact and be hard to break down, we could hit them on the break and really punish them. And their unbeaten run came to an end against Leeds on Tuesday night. Is that something you feel like you can capitalise on now? They're on a downer from where they have been for the, throughout the rest of the, the start of the season. Of course, when they when a side uh, loses their first first match of the season, it's always a nerve, nervous point for them to see if they could bounce back from it. And uh, it's a great time for us to play them, try to punish them and uh, use that as our, our benefit and go and get the three points. Of course, after Saturday, it's back to international duties for you. A special time out last time for you, wasn't it? Your first captaincy for Canada. How how did that feel? Oh, it was amazing to captain my country in my hometown, home city, in front of all my family and friends. It was, it was amazing and to top it off with a hat trick. It was, it was uh, icing on the cake, so it was great. And uh, hopefully, we could go back this time around and get the result. I mean, you, went, you took to Twitter afterwards saying that it was a dream come true. Is that something, well, imagine that's something you have actually always dreamt of as a young boy. Yeah, of course. Uh, to captain your nation is, is very honourable and not many could say they, they've done that. And to, to do it for the first time around in my home city in front of my family and friends is, is a dream come true. And back in your home city as well to take on the USA. That'll be special. Yeah, big game, man. Big game. First time I'm playing them. And we haven't beat them in over 30 years, so it's a, it's a big rivalry and hopefully we could rewrite history. And you have to pull another hat trick out there. <laughs> no pressure. Right, we're gonna head over to uh, social media for a couple of questions from the fans. We'll start with an easy one uh, from Joel, Joe Daniel Barry. He wants to uh, start off with a few teammate questions. So he wants to ask, who is the most annoying? Most annoying? Uh, there's a few, there's a few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to say, Flinty and Pato. Together? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that being quite a, an infuriating combination. I'm glad they're on the other side of the dressing room with Jay Drew. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets given the majority of the banter? Ah, uh, Sol Bambo. He's an easy, easy target. <laughs> really? Yeah. That surprises me. He's How e so? He's easy to wind up. He's always easy to annoy. So. Does he bite? Yeah, he bites a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's got the biggest ego? Biggest ego? Not really with anybody with ego, really. I don't think so. I don't think there's anybody with ego, so. No? Nah. On to Evan Mathias. He's asking who is the best player you've come up against and you've played with? That's a tough question. You must come up against a few decent players last season. Yeah. Toughest player against? I'd say the toughest right back I played against is uh, Banovic or Kyle Walker. And best player I played with, I'll say Salgado. He's one of the great professional. Uh, he plays like he trains like how he plays. He doesn't like losing if he loses in two touch or five side. Nobody can speak to him for the rest of the day. And even in training. Yeah, <laughs> even in training. Uh, he resembles that on the pitch. So he's a he's a winner and somebody I, I learned a lot from. Adam Fag is asking: Is there a specific reason that you have 33 as your number? Yeah, there's a. It's my son's birthday, 3rd of March, so uh, 33. <laughs> 33, ah, that's nice. Um, Charlie Cridland, he wants to know who's got the better song, you or Bakuna? <laughs> Ooh, it's a tough They're one. They're both so catchy. Tough one, I, can't, I was singing that one last night. Uh, <laughs> I like Bakunas. But I have to go with mine, of course. That's, of course you do. Yeah, that's legendary. <laughs> Scott Cornell wants to know what's your favourite skill move to pull off. Skill move, favourite one? That has to be a mix. Yeah. 
when he some when he makes somebody gets the team and gets the crowd going. So I like I like the mix. <laughs> <laughs> And our last one, right, Joey wants to know what was a better feeling for you, promotion with Cardiff City or seeing the Raptors in the <laughs> ring last year? Big question. That's a tough one, man. <laughs> Holy. But I have to go with Cardiff City promotion. It's a better feeling and it's a better personal feeling. So, first of all, it's great to see Toronto get their ring, get their first yeah. ring. History in the making. So, hopefully, they can do it again this year. Are they your team? One of my teams, yeah. I support Toronto, but I'm a LeBron James fan. I was going to say. I'm a LeBron James fan, but Toronto's my team, but I support LeBron James. It's a tough question, though. You have to think about it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it from the fan questions. As always, guys at home, keep an eye on our social media channels. We'll let you know who's coming in next week, and you can send in some more. That's it from us for now. Thanks, Junior. Thank you very See much. See you guys again next week.